Now he's joining us here, Feriel Joachim. Hello to you, Feriel. Hello, Netanel. Here in Israel. Yes, that's true. That's amazing. Please share with me the last 48 hours of your journey launching the new book. Oh, wow. It's been a long journey, very tiring. Um, we went to Australia, then I went to Lebanon. Within 24 hours, I'm here from you know, leaving the election in Beirut and now I'm here to <laughs> launch my book and talk about it more often with others. Can you show a bit about your experience in Beirut, in Lebanon? Oh, it was very noisy, was very loud and was very, like, busy with the election. Um, I've had a lot of interviews on TV and radio, but also a lot of actually TV station cancelled on me because they're selling their segment to politician and the election was um, two days ago, as you know. And when uh, you were in Beirut, you also, as part of the book and part of your, your experience, you were visiting your, your childhood camp. Oh my Lord, yes, I did and that was an experience. I went back to the refugee camp where I was born because I wanted to see what it's like now and in hope to give hope um, to the people there, to give them their um, dignity back and tell them, look, that there's hope and you can do it, not to give up and to keep going. How many years didn't you see the, the camp of your childhood? I would say about 30 years and it's all changed, it's not the same. Um, I hardly recognized it, but it, it's sad to say that they need your help more than ever before. Have you met there, near Beirut, near the refugee camp, some of the children that you knew many years ago? Well, let's say a few years ago. A few years ago, <laughs> yes. Actually, at the book launch, I met a friend of mine that went to high school. I had a crush on him, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw him for the first time in 40, 40 years nearly and it was very emotional, very, um, you know, touchy and also walking through the camp I've met a couple of families that they still live there from my childhood and that was very emotional as well. If there is one message from the book that you want that readers in Israel, in Lebanon, in Oman, in Australia, in the States, in Paris, will have with them from the book. What message would you, would you take, would you recommend? I would like to use actually the hashtag Dignity is Priceless, which is used by the UNRWA, which is the fund relief or the people who helped me when I was young. And the UNRWA is a part of the United Nations that I am working closely with. Um, and in hope to build awareness about this program to um, help education and help women build their self-esteem. Could you kind of tell about this message of self-esteem? Um, it's incredible. Another door was opened through Beyond Beauty, a refugee journey in pursuit of happiness. Um, self-esteem is very important because when you believe in yourself, anything can happen and also that opened the door I have been nominated and elected actually um, as the president-elect for the Association of Image Consultant International. Wow, so I the president, be... the elected president. <laughs> correct, correct Netanel, yeah. Oh, and it's, I'm humbled and honored. Um, I can't believe the doors are open in, in my face. It's it's incredible, incredible journey. Can you share with me, please, in during all this last 48 hours of great success, one image that you remember from, from Beirut, from the elections there, from meeting the people there, for looking at their eyes as the ambassador of goodwill of UNRWA, when you're visiting the classes and you saw the teens in Lebanon, in Beirut nowadays? There is hope. Never give up. My only word is there is hope, and if, if there is love, there will always be hope. And when you're visiting here, in the state of Israel, and visiting your family here and there, yes. and meeting youngsters here and there, yes. accomplished with your beloved sons and, and, and family, what is your message here also to the people here in Israel? 
My hope is to be the bridge to connect people together, to give them their identity back, to give them their self-esteem back, and to give them hope. And I want to be the symbol of peace. I want to be the simple symbol of inspiration in hope to inspire and empower people of all walks of life to face life challenges um, head on and never give up. Fariel Joachim, I want to thank you so much for finding the time in between the United States and Australia, in between the launching of your new book on Amazon and on Facebook and all the activities in Beirut and Oman and Israel. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Thank you, Netanel, for thank you. hosting me and having me around. Thank you very much for joining Content on LTV. Thank you. Thank you.